Hey guys, Anthony Jones here with the Top Gun Jumbo, and this is part two of a two-part series of how to paint shark teeth on a Jumbo. Guys, it came out awesome. Um, very, very happy. In this video, we're going to go over the color, which will be the white and the red, finalizing the black, and then a finished product. Um, I kind of had to deviate a little bit from my original game plan, but it came out awesome. So, um, guys, try it at home. It's a little bit time consuming, but man, is it worth it when it's all said and done. As you can tell, I am out of this garage. This will be the last video that I filmed in this garage where the boat build started, where it started all. We moved into this home four years ago. We've been here and uh, it's been a blast, but time to move on to bigger and better things. Got a new garage, going to build a new shop and um, finalize the Top Gun Jumbo in the new setup and uh, hopefully more builds to come, guys. So, um, Guys, thank you for your support. I hit a thousand followers recently. Um, numbers keep increasing, so uh, the more likes I get, the more subscriptions I get, the more comments, more feedback, more messages I get, the more that I know I'm reaching people. So if you would, please kindly subscribe to my channel. If this is the first video you've seen, check out my other stuff. I got more content to come down the pipeline as I get settled into my new home. So stay tuned for that. And guys, if you're on social media, check out the Facebook group, Tiny Boat Nation. And please give me a shout out on Instagram. It is at a dub jones thank you guys enjoy as always may your tiny boat builds be great and i'm gonna miss this shop man i'm gonna miss it but stay tuned because i got big things coming tiny boat garage coming your way guys all right before i do the red i've decided to uh tape things up that's how i did the other side the only issue i had is uh man this painter's tape does not stick very good at all to this um paint that i've got applied on this on this boat i don't know if i just needed to clean it before i try to apply it or if it's just like the texture and this type of material that i've painted the boat in but nonetheless you can kind of see see how it's just kind of coming off but i'm just using the tape as a guide i'm really not depending on it as a uh as a, something to lock in the paint but um what i did was i just kind of taped off i kind of eyeballed about a little bit wider than what this black is. And um, I'm just gonna come through here and paint the red. I'm gonna do the top section first and then peel the tape off and then tape off the bottom section and then do it. And that'll be the outline around the black. And then I'll come back in and do the inside of the mouth as well. And once I do that, then I can move on to the white. Guys, I got the uh, second coat. I went ahead and did two coats on the red. And, um, Got the second coat done on the eye and then the outline of the mouth. Now before I can move on and do inside of the mouth, I'm gonna have to let this second coat dry up real good because when I get in and paint with my hand, I'm right-handed, my hand's gonna get all over this. So just a little, uh, I guess that's a little tip is as you go, I always work um, left to right because I am right-handed, so I'm going this way. Um, if I work the opposite way, then my hand would be in my wet paint. So um, I'm going to stop at this point and let that dry, and then I'll come back. That way, if I get my hand all over this section, it'll already be dry. And that's just kind of how I work with it. So I'm working kind of quick here. I got my brush. Um, I've already done two coats on the outline around the mouth of red. And I'm starting my second coat of red. I just want to show you guys so you can kind of see... So I've done my second coat up until right here. So all of this in here is my second coat. And then everything from here out is my first coat. And um, that's probably about as good of a shot as you're going to get with the lighting I've got on this thing right now. It's dark in my garage. I've just got a shop light on it. Um, but uh, as you can see, that's, that's a lot brighter red than that up there. Um, you can kind of see, especially right in here, how that gray kind of blends through or, or bleeds through the uh, first coat of red and you could see down here that is a lot brighter and more vibrant so that's why i'm doing two coats um it's going to vary based on your uh your application and also the color of your boat um for the for my boat i'm doing two coats for sure it just it really looks a lot better and um of course to me the de it's all in the details so i just want to show that real quick there it is guys red is done that is two coats of red on, on all the red. So that would include the eye, the outline of the mouth, and then inside the mouth. Man, that looks sweet. Super shiny. Two coats is the ticket. 
I'm about to start white right now. I am laying down the white. Um, I'm going to show you kind of what I got going here. I'm using, oh, let's see, the Rust-Oleum, the gloss white. And what I'm doing here, guys, is I am, um, I'm going to show you, using a tiny brush, man. This is time consuming, but I don't know if you can kind of tell how that gives it a, a fatigued look. Um, I like I like that look, and so um, I'm trying to get artistic here, and I'm just going through, and I'm just kind of painting this in random strokes, and what that does, it's um, it's actually leaving me a um, that kind of a look that gives it that old military look. So it's not like a pure pure white when it dries. Um, when it dries, it's going to look like a solid white from a distance, but when you get real up close to it, it's going to be have that cloud look. I'm going to do two coats this way. It seemed to work really good on the other side, um, but that's how I'm doing it, man. I'm just uh, trying to stay in between the lines and uh, just feathering it out and just, just keeping it moving. So uh, I just want to show you that, and I'm going to keep on keeping on. Got the uh, first coat of white down on the eye and the upper teeth. I'm at a stopping point. I'm going to call it a night. That took about an hour and a little bit of change. Um, so I will come back and do the lower teeth. I like to do the lower teeth um, separate as well because um, that way I'm not uh, smearing any of this paint. I'll, I'll be down in this area, but um, I'm just going to play it safe. So I'm going to I'm going to divide and conquer. Do this is one section. That is another section. Um, so. Um, I'll probably have two hours and a coat of white to do the, all the white. Um, I'm definitely going to do two coats, so that'll be four hours just in the white alone. Just want to give you guys an idea of the time parameter here because um, this is incredibly detailed and it's very time consuming. I, I guess I'm doing artwork here. So uh, this is not like a quick spray job with, with rattle cans. Um, nothing against that, but that's not what this is. This is going to be time consuming, but I think it's going to be worth it um, with the end result that I'm going to achieve. I am uh, working on the lower teeth here, and I just want to show you real quick. It's pretty much like how I did the red. I'm just coming in, and I'm freestyling this with my brush. No tape. I'm just coming along, and I'm uh, channeling my inner Bob Ross, and I'm just... Uh, Taking my time, man, listening to the crickets outside the garage, and I'm just painting these shark's teeth, and uh, just taking my time, taking my time, taking my time. Okay, guys, this is uh, coat one complete on the teeth. Now, I doubt you're going to be able to see this, but coat one on the teeth, it, it lacks the same sheen. The way the light hits it, see how this has got more sheen? It's shinier than this. That's only one coat. These are two coats. Now, I have done the eye in two coats, and I think I've got the light at a good angle to where it's showing you I've got an even sheen. So two coats is the way to go. But also, um, what I'd like to do is try to hit some spots. It's hard to pick up right here, but you can kind of see it in here. I want to give it that uh, fatigued kind of distressed look like a cloud like I did on the other side. So when I do the teeth, I'm going to um, bring it out. You can kind of see how I did it in the first coat, how it's um, lighter and, and darker in areas. And um, it's just a process of me painting this white over this gray. And it kind of does that with a smaller brush like I'm using. You can kind of get that effect. So I'm just going to keep that up. You're not going to see it as much on that small spot where the eye is, but you'll see it on the teeth um, when I do the second coat. So I just want to throw that out there and I'm going to get it cranking. All right, so I just want to show you I'm halfway through with the second coat on the upper teeth, and I have painted my second coat up until this point. So everything over here has a second coat, and everything from this rivet over, first coat. You can barely see the difference. So obviously, that's a brighter white. Okay, the sheen, it's shinier. I don't know if you can see that light reflection, and then how it'll just stop reflecting right after that bolt. It's very, very slight um, change in sheen, but definitely you could, uh, I can see a color difference. 
But um, this is going to be the last little, I guess, art technique that I'm going to show you here. But like I said, I wanted to give it kind of that uh, military look. So I want the teeth. I don't want them to be just solid white. I want them to look like, they, uh, like they've had a little bit of um, distress to them. So I do want to show you. This is kind of how I'm doing, doing the white. So if you just bear with me. Um, I'm just coming in. And I am just randomly just kind of going all over the place. And I'm cutting it in. And I'm just kind of going light and heavy in spots. And um, I'm pretty much just putting down an uneven coat, if you will. And what that'll do is that'll kind of give me the look that I'm going for when it dries. I'm just kind of going all over. And um, that'll just kind of give me that, that look. Kind of like these teeth. If that makes any sense. And um, from a distance, it's going to look solid, but when you get up to it, it's going to look uh, slightly distressed, and that's what I'm going for. So that's it. I'm going to finish putting this coat on, and then we're going to do some after video, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, so I've got two coats of white paint on the shark's teeth. Came out awesome, but I did want to show you guys something. Full disclosure here, I kind of screwed up. So, like I said earlier in the video, on the other side of the boat, I painted that like six months ago. I got so excited, I wanted to get a side knocked out to see what it looked like. And then I moved on to other sections of the boat, like the live well, for example. So, I don't know what happened, if it was the paint, the brush, how long it sat, or if I, you know, I, I, I don't know. Um, obviously, I would recommend if, you, if you're going to paint um, shark's teeth, do them both back to back. That way you're using the exact same paint, same brushes, same technique, everything it will match up. So I'm going to show you. It's a slight screw up, but I'm going to fix it. So if you notice the teeth, they do kind of have a little bit of a cloudy look, slightly distressed. I mean, they kind of look like teeth, man. I mean, that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, and then from a distance, it's more of like a solid white. And uh, if you look at this side... More distress. The teeth uh, are definitely, there's definitely a noticeable difference in how the teeth look, how I did them, the technique I used. It's been so long, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what I did different. Or, or this is what the teeth are going to look like when they sit for six months. Maybe that oil based paint just slightly changed. Um, I don't know. I'm not an expert. It doesn't matter at this point. I'm going to put another coat on this side to make it look like this side. And that's what I'm doing. And then they'll match and they'll both be the same. But honestly, I was kind of going for it to look like this. But uh, it didn't happen. So we're going to add more paint here. That's what I'm doing. want to let you guys know nobody's perfect. Don't get frustrated. Take your time. Be patient. Because uh, I'm doing more paint than I anticipated because of this uh, little... Uh, minor screw up we're gonna fix it though okay quick update i have done the top teeth on this side as you notice that looks different from that that is a little bit more distressed it's got a lot of uh variation within the color um that not as much does have a slight variation Honestly, I don't know what I did. I, like I said, I did these so long ago. I think the more that I've thought about it, that I only did this side in one coat and kind of like that patina. Um, but I, I really don't know. So I did the other side in two coats. So I'm going to go back over this side. Again, I don't know if it's two or three or four. I, I've lost track at this point. All I know is that these teeth look like the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the bottom. I just want to show you kind of a, a, the variation in the, the colors and the coats. And, um, and then we're going to be done and both sides will be done and both sides will match perfectly and I will be a happy camper. And this is the final result, guys. Turned out real nice. Real happy with it. Um, again, I was not confident in the vinyl graphic. It was, uh, it was definitely, uh, paint was the way to go. Very time consuming. But man, anything worth having takes some work. So um, I, I will say in the video, I mentioned how I wanted to uh, have that, uh, the shark's teeth have like a cloud effect. And um, you could just kind of barely see how, how it does have that slight look. But honestly, it wasn't what I thought it was going to turn out to be. 
but that's okay. Uh, you might as well just go solid white and try not to get artistic with it because I did have some issues getting that effect um, on both sides to match. So uh, with this rig, I've got to do some final wiring, as you can see. And uh, that is pretty much it, my friends. Final wiring. I'm going to do a video on the casting deck. Um, that'll be my next video that may be a two-part series. It will not be a walkthrough. It will be um, not a step-by-step. -step. It'll be more of a walkthrough of uh, how I did this. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, sorry it's taking me a while to get videos out, guys. We, um, we're in the middle of moving, but uh, this is what I, what I showed on Instagram. Uh, the Tiny Boat Garage is what I'm calling it. And uh, we moved into our new home out here in the middle of nowhere outside of athens georgia anybody's in the area hit me up man but this is the uh this is the end result again and uh stay tuned for more to come on my channel y'all bear with me my garage is a nightmare right now and i am going to have to build a new workbench and get set up all over again but we will wrap this boat up and i'll bring out some more content and hopefully start another project thank you guys like comment suggestions subscribe and I appreciate it.